Good morning. Of course you know about Bud Light. They hired a tranny to promote their beer. Dylan Mulvaney, this dude who wanted to be a girl, he got to promote this product, the Bud Light beer. <laughs> Which I think was the biggest seller in the United States at the time. And maybe you thought this was uh, probably a bad idea. I thought it was a bad idea. And it was a bad idea. But how bad was it? I was reading in the New York Post recent article. It's a brilliant article because there is a response from Bud Light on the, on the boycott. They want to explain the campaign. So, New York Post, they talked to, for instance, they talked to Andy Wagner. He's a manager of Glenn Miller's Beer and Soda Warehouse in Pennsylvania. And this guy, Andy Wagner, he says, a 30-pack of Miller Lite, that's another beer, selling for $25. While a 30-pack of Bud Light is now priced at $9 after a discount. <laughs> $9. He says, at this point it's cheaper than some of the water we are selling. It's not moving like it used to, he says. It's not that they stop drinking beer, they just stop buying Bud Light. The power of these boycotts is fantastic. Right, so here's the response from Bud Light. It's priceless. It's from the marketing vice president, Alyssa Heinerscheid. She wants to explain the campaign. She says, what she brought to the brand. I don't know if she's talking about herself now. Or if she's talking about that dude, the tranny. I don't know. But she says what she brought to the brand was a belief that to evolve and elevate means to incorporate. Inclusivity, it means shifting the tone, it means having a campaign that's truly inclusive and feels lighter and brighter and different and appeals to women and to men. Right, but this was the idea. We want to be lighter and brighter and different. Inclusive. Oh. Now it didn't work. And another thing, which they mentioned in the article, members of the LGBTQ community, they also withdraw support from the brand Miller, I'm sorry, Bud Light, because Mulvaney, the tranny, he was attacked by a lot of people, personally, and he didn't get any support from Bud Light. He says, in a video, he says, I was waiting for the brand to reach out to me, but they never did. So he's sad about this, and then the LGBTQ people say, this is bad, what Bud Light is doing. So they are now withdrawing support from it. Oh, it was bad, wasn't it, this idea? And I, was, I heard this, and somebody told me this, that Bill Gates invested heavily in uh, Starbucks. We have them here in Sweden, Starbucks. I never go there, but now I will never, never, ever go there, because now maybe... Bill Gates owns part of it, so I don't want to support this, of course. Just the thought of it, you know, Bill Gates making money from me buying coffee, just absolutely, I will never accept this. You know, I, I think maybe in the future we will see when Bill Gates goes into a company, this is bad for business. Yeah, the power of these boycotts. Tremendous. All right. Be good.